five, five, five four, 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 three, 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 two, two one. one, one, one. Ooh, welcome to the Real Ones Podcast. I'm Shane. And I'm Dan. And welcome in for another show. Where shit gets real and it stays there. We smoke purple. On a Sunday. Hey, hey, hey. We're back. What up? Shit, man. Feels good to be doing it again. I'm actually starting to feel comfortable when we sit down to do this now. The totally. first couple were like, we were a little iffy, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, we're like, how do we do this, you know? But um, yeah, it's good to be back. Been on the road. Good to be back in the man cave. Talking to your dumbass again. Finally got the man cave filled out a little bit. I see that. We got some stuff done today, or yesterday. Yep. Sorry. We're waiting for this fucking shit to come forever. You're fucking cussed. I'm going to have a hard time not fucking <laughs> laughing every time I see that shit behind you. <laughs> Dude, I got home and I had like 14 boxes piled up in my door. I was like, what the fuck is this, dude? Went a little ham on eBay, huh? I thought somebody had a shopping addiction or something. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I think you and me were so fucking high the night we were looking at all those. And I, <laughs> like, I woke up the next morning and we just had a bunch of weird shit bookmarked. Yep. I said, fuck it. Just fucking put in the order. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. So, yeah, now we got, uh, now it doesn't feel so empty in here. Hopefully, this will actually probably help with the sound a little bit, too. Woo! Look at that. Where are we going? Oh, shit. Where are we going this week? Going to Spain, man. You excited or what? I am fucking beyond excited dude to be honest i have not taken like i've gone on plenty of trips the last five six seven years but i haven't gone anywhere just for the sole purpose of going on a vacation just leisure enjoy myself you Mm -hmm. know it's always like a little bit of business involved or just it's a trip that i'm going somewhere where i wouldn't normally go by choice and i try to make it into something fun right while i'm there but this is gonna be different like the last vacation you went on was probably like hawaii with your grandparents and you're like yeah when i was a kid you you wanted to be there but you didn't because you were with your grandparents yeah (laughs) Yeah. no it's gonna do it it's gonna be so tight like honestly barcelona is one of the most beautiful cities that i have ever been to you know what i'm saying like they got so many like ancient artifacts that you got to go see i don't know museums even, and shit yeah i don't know if you call them artifacts but you know what i'm saying like it's a lot of uh like monumental shit monuments and shit. monuments and like this there's a church there i honestly forget how to pronounce it it's like the sagria familia or something like that you know it, it, it's tight Super yeah i'm tight. excited man like i i we were getting ready for this trip and I'm like, I'm not sure if I even have a fucking passport. Like I had one when I was a little kid, definitely haven't traveled out of the country since I turned 18. Mm -hmm. I went to Mexico on like a cruise when I was a kid, you know, like fucking 11, 12 years old. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited, man. This is, uh, you know, I kind of, you were already going and you just kind of like talked me into it spur of the moment. I kind of went out of my comfort zone and just like, went ahead and committed to it without really thinking about it too much you know badass what I, mean? I remember i got on my ig story with eric and i was like we need to get shane on the plane to spain <laughs> a little you, bit of peer pressure probably worked yep i you got know? you on the plane see that's the church i'm talking about right there uh still doesn't have the name up on it looks it, like fucking disneyland dude it's fucking bad doesn't it look ass. like the fucking disney castle whatever that shit is they might have even fuck, i don't even know it could be it could be what they modeled that after <clears throat> i apologize my voice is uh a little hoarse today, to be honest. I don't know. My allergies or something. Are <sighs> can't me. wait. I can't wait to fucking see this spot, dude. We're pretty close to the beach. Basically right on the beach. Yeah, it's going to be fucking badass, dude. It's just nice to get away, man. It's nice to go see a different culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, the U.S. gets fucking old, man. It's just a rat race, a fucking money race. You know what I'm saying? It, like... People's core values here are just fucking money, 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 People money, live money, money. Around the world. Dude, you don't think about it. In Spain travel. in Spain, bro, like they work when it, like pretty much they open like whenever they want and then they like close down at four for like a fucking nap, you know. Siesta, yeah. Uh, yeah, a siesta, they call it a siesta. And then they open back up for dinner and drinks around like eight or nine and they'll be open till, you know, like the early morning, like one or two in the morning, you know. I wonder if the future, if in the future, yeah. all the cultures will kind of have blended. You know what I mean? In some way, like, hopefully they'll take the best aspects of each culture. Like, I'm sure there's some things that American culture could take from 
fucking Spanish culture and Chinese culture and all different cultures around the world, and we could all be a little bit better in one way or another, you know? I really hope so. I ho- Whatever, if, if we do that and we adopt one worldwide culture, I hope we adopt Thai food. <laughs> Dog, I went to Banana Leaf last night. Oh, yeah, I saw those pictures Dude, of your story. so fire. If you live <laughs> you in the, the bay... the shit in the pineapple? Yeah, if you live in the bay... And you like Thai food. It's it's actually Malaysian food. You know, they have Pad Thai there and shit. Go check out fucking Banana Leaf, man. Super fire if you live in the Bay. Yeah, I can vouch for that one, too. The yeah. place is on point. All right, man. Did you, uh, did you do your homework? I sure did. Uh, you want me to start? Either way. I, I got... Uh... I got some heaters lined up here for you. Why don't you go first, man? I just... You're on the keys. I'm going to need some research for some of these for sure. I got you. Let me get back to Google here. Um, okay, I'll start off with this one. This isn't what I had first, but it's probably most relevant. You just got back from Denver, right? Mm-hmm. How fucking weird is DIA, bro? Dude, DIA is a trip, dog. All the stories that they've had on that shit, too. Like, I threw down ru- a couple of facts for you here, rumors right? Rumors or whatever. It was privately funded and cost about $5 billion. Really? Two million under budget. Under? Right? Under budget, I think, yeah. Or over budget. It was more than, okay, regardless, probably going to have to fact check that. But, <laughs> shit, in the, but, shit in the United States is usually over budget. It, but it was privately funded. That's the craziest who, part about who? it. It's the most insane fucking airport with crazy underground bunkers and shit, and it was privately funded. By? That's what I want to know. Um, let's see. It's more than twice the size of the next biggest airport in the U.S. Dude, and it's got it's got it a, goes at least five stories underground. Damn. Let's see what else I got. It's here. got a train, dude. I hate taking that fucking train, bro. It takes forever. What is it? What's up with that place, dude? Why is it like that? What's up with all the weird fucking artwork on the walls and shit? And it's out in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's like a fucking hour from the city. Yeah, and there's these weird fucking, uh, I forget what it's called, there's some crazy tablet that has just like weird and scriptures about fucking the apocalypse and shit, there's just like all kinds of fucking Freemasonry symbolism and shit there, it's just, it's trippy dude, like it's, it's an airport, you know what I'm saying? It's in Denver, why, why Denver? Why is the Denver one so weird? I don't know, I just typed in Denver airport rumors, theories, rumors, and facts, Denver airport conspiracy. Is this what you want me to look up? <laughs> oh, bro, that horse is fucking creepy, though. What's up with that thing, dude? What the fuck's up with this is what I want And that, know. dude, a crazy story. The guy who, like, engineered or designed or built that horse, uh-huh. the fucking head fell off while they were constructing it, and it killed him. Really? Yeah. Look at that fucking creepy-looking horse, dude. With the red eyes and shit? Like, what the fuck is with that? I'm a Bronco fan, but what the fuck is with that? I don't know, dude. It's fucking trippy. There's a lot of fucking weird shit. Like, what is it about Denver? I, I mean, I get... The fact that if you think about it, it's like a pretty strategic two billion over budget. Okay, over budget. Most sal- salacious airport themed conspiracy theories. What so is it? So five billion total. Five billion total. I mean, I get uh, okay, Denver is kind of in a strategic position as far as like defense. As far as location, <clears throat> it's in the mountains. It's and the and the other thing is like. When you drive to DIA, why the f- have you ever been to another airport that is just out in the middle of nowhere like that? No, that's what I was saying. It's fucking weird, man. Like, what was their? What's their? I think I've heard so many rumors that like a bunch of rich people have bunkers down there and shit for like when the world ends and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think if anything, it's probably just a strategic place to hide, you know, essential military personnel in the event of a catastrophe. If I had to guess, like a, along with all kinds of crazy other weird shit, it's fucking at least five stories underground, bro. That's it's like underground. So it's like a modern Noah's Ark is what you're saying? Who knows, bro? Like, think about all the shit that you see on top of the ground. It's a huge airport. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. And just to think that there's even more underground, you know? It's weird, bro. It is very weird. So this motherfucker is 33,531 acres. Fucking huge. <sighs> yeah. I always hated driving out there, dude. It's I don't, like you drive out there and you're like, why is the airport here? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's definitely fucking, it's a mystery, you know? Nobody really, who, who's allowed down there? That's what I want to know. I'm sure it's probably staffed with all kinds of fucking people with like top clearance and shit that work for probably a multitude of different agencies. Right, because they have like NORAD in Colorado Springs and shit. Like, isn't that where, like, our 
like number one missile defense fucking shit is. Some shit like that. All I'm saying is it's definitely a strategic military location. I think just for like the the where it is on the map, it's close to just you know the right. middle I mean, of the landmass. It's right in the middle. You know? It's probably like one of the highest parts of the middle of the continent, right? The Rockies or whatever. Even though the airport's not in the Rockies, but I don't know. I don't think anyone really knows. I'm just saying. I want to know. It trips me out. I, I think about it every time I'm there. Dude, even like way way back when my dad lived there in like the 90s, dude, it was still like a mystery. You know what I'm saying? Like people still haven't figured people it out. People talked about it back then too. Yeah, yeah. There's like. Pull up pictures of the artwork. That's what, I think that's what I was looking at when I wrote this shit down. Cause I was just like, all right, what the fuck? All right, hold on. So uh, type in like murals or artwork at Denver International Airport. Let's see what yeah. we can find here. Look at that weird shit, bro. What the fuck? This is like uh like an ancient church something you'd find. or what is that? What I don't is- know, they got a bigger one of it. I don't know. Let's see here. What whatever it is, some weird fucking artwork. Have you seen this? Yeah, this is one of the ones that I was looking at. It says peace, alpha or some shit. This one's not quite as creepy. It kind of just looks like a bunch of different people coming together. But what are they stomping out? That fucking knight? It looks like... <laughs> They're stomping somebody out. There's some doves. Or somebody died. There's, there. Look at this. Look at this guy. What's this? Just like, why is this up at the airport? You know? I want to know what that is. That's evil right there. You can. There's like an eye, an eye, a mouth. It's like a... Peace. It's like a scream mask. Alef. It looks like there's stuff written in script, like different... Uh, languages and stuff. There's peace, pause, alafia. What's that? Isn't that a some terrorist organization? I don't think so. you're. At, I don't know. I'm too dumb for that. But what? I mean, how, how do you explain this weird shit? There's other weird ones too, man. See if see what else you can find there. Or that mm-hmm. might be a close up of the same. Th- yeah. Here we go. There's like a trumpet, pl- a monkey playing a trumpet or something. I fuck with that one. Yeah, that one's cool. I don't know, man. DIA. It's it's weird to think about, man. Like, what? Why isn't that just a regular old airport? DIA is a weird place. I don't know. I can't. This joint keeps going out. I feel like this happens to me every time. (laughs) Start talking. (laughs) Yeah, it's not easy to talk and smoke. I'll tell you guys that. Yeah. See, I did the same fucking thing. I hated. And and when I and when I'm and when I'm smoking, when we're both smoking, it's like a long, fucking, awkward silence. You know what I'm saying? I think we a lot of times we get super high before these or we don't get that high all day because we're like oh i'm gonna get super high in the podcast yeah. you know what i mean and then no, i'm gonna be honest i was writing music all morning i'm like really fucking high yeah <laughs> i didn't get high for a while this morning i woke up at a bunch of shit i had to do yeah and i knew we were gonna fucking try to fit this in and i started getting high like an hour before you got here and i just got these fucking bad boys in Fucking bad ass. Mm. Butter. Fucking butter. Those do look sick. I like the uh, the cruise too. Yeah. I'm about yeah. So. I'm about to. I'll lace you up. I, I brought some shit for you. We gotta put some swag packs together for people. Swag packs. Swag packs coming soon. Trap packs. All right. Here's my first one, man. Get the CCC shit rolling too. Yeah, we gotta get CCC merch for sure and real ones. Yep. Merch coming soon for show. For show though. All right, first one for me. All I wrote down, uncharted territory on Earth, man. There's like the Mariana Trench, right? Is that how you... Mariana. Mariana. Sorry, fucking... Dude. Could, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Mariana, that Mariana. That deep-ass shit. The deep-ass shit, bro. The what, do you, what do you think's Hold down on. there? Hold on. Just before we move on, we were looking for shit, and I didn't feel like we quite hit the level of creepy that we were looking for. That guy right there with the gas mask and the AK. Whoa. What's up with him? Gas mask, AK, sword, and some kind of looks like military. At an airport? On. You know what I'm saying? At an airport with people like cowering in fear down there. Like, what? What? That's not and supposed to be. Is that be... Jesus on the left? Is that some kind of spirit? Like, what? That's not supposed to be at an airport, dude. That's like straight terrorist shit. This is one I want to do some homework on and revisit. This is going to carry over maybe a couple of episodes. All right. We need to do our, our homework and figure out what the fuck's going on here. For sure. I want to know who who designed these pieces. Yeah. What significance they play. Yep. 
We're going to get to the bottom of this We're going to get to the motherfucking bottom of this fucking... Sorry to interrupt. No, it's all good. Your real one that you were hitting me with. Yep, I was honestly watching Planet Earth the other day, and Almost obviously yeah. Planet Earth, you know, Planet Earth covers all the places of the Earth that we can see, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, what about the... Are there... I asked myself, are there any places on Earth... That we have never been to, and there totally are. Fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's look it up. Even places where you wouldn't think, like, remote parts of Siberia and shit, where there's just nobody. Places Nothing. humans have never been on Earth. <coughs> I think we've sent probes down to the trench, though, or something, right? Yeah, I don't know if they've came back, though. See, like, look at this. There's this crazy shit. Ten places you are not allowed to go. No, that's not what I want. I see those all the time on YouTube. Yeah, I'm not getting a very good Google result right now. But yeah, there's like, there's some like super fucking steep mountains that we've never been to the top to. There's the Mariana. Mar whoa, whoa. Oh. Shit hole. Not, not killing it. I'm sorry. My fucking phone's hooked up to my computer <coughs> and there's, I, I don't know. I, I can't figure out how to not do that. It's on, it's on silent. Anyways, there's like the Mariana Trench. Uh, there's some high mountains we haven't been to, and I want to ask you: Do you think we're ever gonna? Do you think we're ever gonna get the technology to send like a human down there, for instance? Or do you think the pressure is too high? Like, I think they'll they'll be able to make those underwater probes that can go deep enough. I think I'm pretty sure those things already go really fucking deep. They do. Know? Yeah, I'm talking about a fucking human though. How big is that Marianas Trench? I think it's I think it's fucking twenty I think it's almost thirty thousand feet. I'm pretty sure you can fit Mount Everest inside it. Like if height wise, you know? Uh that is fucking insane. Hold on. Some of those like the ten places you can't go, like a lot of the I hear a lot of that bullshit about how nobody's allowed to go to Antarctica. Like a lot of the flat earth people are like, Yeah, Antarctica fucking government won't let you go there, all this shit. There's plenty of people that have gone to Antarctica. Really? Yeah. There's plenty of, you know, there's been plenty of research done there. Plenty of people have taken trips there. Yeah. Like you can go to Antarctica. So it's a fucking rumor. So here we go. Look, Mariana Trench is 36,200 feet, dude. Fuck yeah. I think Everest is only, what, like 28? Yeah, 28. Oh, 29. 29. 35. 29,035 yeah. feet. 36, 200. Jesus Christ. 36,280 feet divided by... Dude, that's like 6.8 miles. Get the fuck out. 6.8 miles down, dude. Deep, dude. What is down there? The craziest thing to me is not about like... Yeah, I do think we'll probably be able to come up with some kind of technology where we can get down there or at least send probes down there or some kind of... We'll build something that can withstand the pressure because that's the main thing you're worried right. about down there, right? Mm -hmm. The craziest thing to me, bro, is the kinds of fucking animal life that lives down there. Crazy. Like, there's crazy fish and shit down there that have like thin fucking tiny little skin. They almost look like jellyfish. They're like trans translucent and or transparent. You can see fucking through them. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's fucking crazy. Like what are the, how did those animals adapt to be able to do that shit? Especially to be able to take those pressures. The pressure, with like, the pressure with is crazy, dude. And there's like a ton of fish that like light up and shit down there, mm -hmm. right? Like bioluminescent. The, you know, <clears throat> you know what else is crazy about this subject too is fucking. We're trying to like plan this fucking cr crazy trip to Mars and shit <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? We're we're trying to get to Mars, but we haven't even been to the bottom of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, bro. What the fuck? Let's get our priorities in line, people. You know, let's get to the bottom of this thing, literally. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I think, actually, isn't, okay. I'm pretty sure I've seen a commercial about, so it's like a this fucking Dos Equis commercial or some shit. Terrible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, there's a Dos Equis commercial or some shit like that about some guy who I think his dad was the first guy to like, reach the highest point or whatever in like an air balloon or some shit mm -hmm. like he broke some some barrier or some shit like he did he achieved something stay with thirsty heights. my friends yeah some shit like <laughs> that and then his son did the same thing by like getting to the mariana bottom of the marianas trench or he he got to the lowest point on earth or some shit you should just look up has anybody ever been there i'm pretty sure they have 
Down to the bottom? The very bottom? Pretty sure. Oh, so I could... I'm just totally wrong. This is... I when think, I typed in places humans haven't been, this came up. Well, dude, I mean, it's unexplored in the sense of we don't know what the fuck lives down there. Like, every single time they go down to one of these places, they find new species. Every huh. single year, they discover new species and shit. That's the craziest part about it to me, is that we still don't know. Like, we we think of, like, oh, th- these animals exist here. This animal went extinct. Like, this is the history of evolution and animals on this planet. And then you realize, like, oh, they still discover new shit all the time that they had no idea existed. Usually it's really small shit, you know? But down at the bottom of the ocean, bro, there could be all kinds of crazy shit down there that's significant and big or it just has crazy different things that we don't know about that they have no idea even exists. Oh, yeah, 100%. This is what the top Google search came up with. I said, has anyone been to the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Uh, It's seven miles below the surface, uh, and it's north of Guam, and the director of the Titanic, James Cameron, uh, made a lifelong goal of reaching the bottom. And this was in 2013, so I don't know if he's done it yet. I'm pretty sure he did. We're rooting for you, Cameron. All right, let's see what I got here. What you got for me? I need to roll another joint. This one was terrible, dude. Terrible. Jason motherfucking Terry. What if it becomes possible in our lifetime for scientists to bring back dinosaurs? Oh, my God. Dude, I Right now, it's not possible, (laughs) right? Yeah. But they have found soft tissue of, like, mammoths and shit like that. Like, they could probably bring the mammoths back right now. Are you serious? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Yeah. No, be real. They they found it in the ice and they like can they can make a t- yeah no they, they can make found a- like full the thing How is mammoths were around like ten thousand years ago or some shit dinosaurs are millions and millions of years old so all the shit they find of dinosaurs is fossilized so it's basically rock right. you know what I'm saying okay but so it doesn't usually have like tissue culture yeah really. so it's not gonna have a gen- they're not gonna be able to get the genetic code mm-hmm. but for mammoths and shit like they could probably bring them back right now. And if not, they could. They're figuring out how to do shit with like gene sequencing and all this crazy shit. Where they're gonna be if they don't have it all, they'll just like, I don't know, fill it in with some fucking so, frog shit or some this rhino that, can shit. They or clone, something. Can they clone humans right now? They can clone. They just clone. I don't know how recently, but they definitely have cloned monkeys. Are you serious? Yeah. And the first primates to ever be cloned like happened recently, like within the last few years, I think. But uh, so, when you get cloned. Say if it happens in our lifetime and I clone myself, right? <laughs> is, 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 is it transfer? Is it a different person or would I like? Yeah, it's a different person. So it's a different. But diff- is it a person? That's what I want to know. But like, so it, it would have a different like psychological, it would have a different conscience than me, right? Dude, there's an AI human in Saudi Arabia no, wh- that has human a- citizenship right now. It's being considered a human. What? AI? Is being considered a human? He's got a passport and everything? Pretty sure. Look up Saudi Arabia AI girl or whatever. Oh, man. This is fucked up. I mean, it's not cloning. It's not biological. It's machine. So, but what'd you say? Human citizen AI? or Saudi Arabia. God, I don't know how to spell any S-A-U-D-I. of this. S-A-U-D-I. S- S-A-U-D-I. A-U-D-I. <laughs> got an extra U in there. S-A-U-D-I. <laughs> Yeah. Space, A R, uh huh, A B, I A. Okay, A I, A I girl, girl, A I girl, citizen or some shit. Sophia. Meet Sophia. There it is. The first robot. What? The first robot declared a citizen by Saudi Arabia. What the she's fuck is going too. on, dude? She's creepy too, dude. What's this shit? What is going on? This- is that her? No. no. Is that, I don't know what that's the fuck a freak, this is. That's but a freak, too. That's her. What? That's Sophia. Hi. Hi, Sophia. Oh, my God. What? I, I believe I answered you. I it, feel as if I know you. Whoa. You can tell they don't get the... There's. It's so hard to replicate the millions and millions of fucking facial movements that humans can make. To express shit. I know. They can get the voice right, you know? Like, 
the most impressive part of it to me is like the speech. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't sound stupid like old like forms yeah. of Siri used to sound like ex- I will see you at the you know. No, yeah. Remember the old shit you could download on your computer with that fucking purple gorilla? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could type it and he would say shit. Yeah. And when you were a little kid, like ten years old, that was God, the coolest that thing. Was funny. Dude, is Saudi Arabia like super advanced in this shit? Like I thought they were like I mean that's where all the oil comes from, I'm pretty so sure. So they got dough, and they're putting it into AI? I, guess, I just dude, thought... Dude, everybody's putting it... Dude, AI is crazy, man. I'm scared. It's coming along quick. I'm so scared for Way the Way quicker than we're going to be prepared to handle it. We are so baked. What fucking... I have no idea. <laughs> Which... What did Clones we even start on here? Clones? Or... Yeah, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. If it becomes... Okay, my dinosaurs. question was... So <laughs> so right now, they can't do it, right? But they're gonna, they can start bringing back some of the stuff... Right. That is fucking and dude, as as the poles are melting, mm-hmm. all this new shit, new shit is becoming uncovered. You know what I mean? They're finding new shit. And I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. Like, what if they do get to the point where they could bring back dinosaurs and they could we could have a real Jurassic Park? Fuck that. You seen no? what you seen what happens in they're, the movie? They're gonna break Steven out of Spielberg, dude. They're gonna break out eventually, and we're fucked. No, yeah, dude. We yes. could build some crazy shit, and even if they no. get out, like we, they're not gonna be on an island with no fucking military and shit. It would obviously have to be dude. out there in the middle of nowhere. Dude. If a pack of fucking T Rexes got out. <sighs> You wouldn't have a pack, though. You'd just have, like, one. You'd have a pack of raptors. I don't know. You know I, what else is crazy, that, bro? What'll dude. trip you out? A velociraptor, an actual velociraptor, which was what they always called the raptors in Jurassic Park, right? Mm-hmm. They're tiny. I know. They're fucking tiny. They're, yeah. like, 20, 30 pounds. Yeah. They're, like, tiny little things. The, those things are modeled after a different Okay, one. okay. I would be down to bring them back, but, like, don't you think we should be careful about, like, which ones we bring back? Like, you don't want to... We're at the top of the food chain right now. You don't want to bring something back that threatens that, do you? Yeah, but you can't threaten a population of 7 billion with one of any animal, really. You're right. That we know of. You're right. A t- a past or present. No, a you're t-rex, right. A T-Rex, like, they'll just, okay, there's a T-Rex, all right, get the fucking grenade launcher. It would have to, it would take a lot of them, yeah. You know, it's not like Jurassic Park where everybody's fucking shooting, shooting them with yeah. fucking <laughs> AR bullets and they just don't do anything yeah. to them. Like, those would actually do something We're to shooting them. Especially them. if you... In Jurassic Park, they're getting lit up with fucking hundreds of rounds and nothing happens to them. The big guys? It would not be like that in real life. I'm just saying... we just shoot them with a missile and call it a day. I'd say... I mean... I'm not saying we do it, but... Okay, let's do it. I think it would be pretty cool. You got me. You convinced me. Let's fucking do it. But then you look at it from, like, the fucking sea world aspect and shit too like do we want to bring animals back just for our own entertainment and like also the fact that we we didn't it's not like it's an animal that we hunted to extinction you know what i'm saying no it it got blown up by a fucking rock yeah there are other animals that we've hunted to extinction that you could make the case for bringing back and having it be for ethical reasons yeah totally but yeah I don't think you could really justify bringing back a T-Rex. But my point being is, like, maybe at some point in the future, they're going to be able to bring shit back. Or definitely, if they can't bring shit that's millions of years old like that, they could still bring back, like, woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. What if they bring back a fucking saber-toothed tiger, bro? That'd be so badass, dude. I mean, there's so many animals going extinct. Like, we're right now, we're in, like, uh, when when I went up to Alaska... I'm pretty sure this is true, too. I haven't fact-checked it, though, but they told me we're in the sixth biggest extinction right now, like, the Sixth ever. great extinction ever. event, yeah. Ever. So that means that, like, an animal goes extinct, like, every day. You yeah. just don't hear about it, you know, or you've probably never heard of the species. But, dude, coral, 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 coral reefs are dying every fucking day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you better go see that shit. When you like now, like we need to go to Cancun and like go scuba. Bro, diving. I used to have that shit in my fish tank. So I, I know. think I was so into that shit. I know. It's fucking like literally going scuba diving it's every gone. day. It's crazy. And now the shit, it's going away. A lot of that shit, yeah, is uh... like a lot of species that are dying are in the ocean, so we don't see it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like we are in the sixth biggest extinction in the history of our fucking planet right now. You know what I'm saying? Shit is crazy. It's fucked up, man. Yeah. It's, it's crazy up. to think about. And it's crazy to have to wonder, like, how much of it is man-made? Like, how much of it is our fault? I, I, a lot. Two. Pa- half of my brain thinks a lot. 
half of my brain thinks, bro, we're so insignificant. No, and, we're but, not. But then you think that there's fucking dude, that's seven what, billion of us. Dude, that's what big money says. We're we're insignificant, dude. No, I I, I get that. This Earth is only right. supposed to hold, hold like five hundred million people. You know what I'm saying? If you look at all the trash in the fucking ocean, all the oil spills, X, Y, Z, all this shit, dude, we are a much bigger impact than you think. Dude, you know what's crazy about that 500 million? I'm just weird. Like, sometimes my mind lock, locks onto these stats, and mm-hmm. sometimes I fucking remember them wrong because I'm a stoner. But that 500 million thing, there's a fu- some kind of crazy tablet. I forget where. It might be like uh, Stonehenge or some shit like that. Where it says it's like a yeah, it's a big stone. Yeah, and then it yeah. says that like this planet is meant to hold five hundred people. Yeah, I know it's fucking. If weird. you exceed that number, bad things will happen. Yeah, let's check it out. I remember seeing this too, bro. This shit trippy. This shit trippy right here. Look, maintain humanity under five hundred million in perpetual balance with nature. In perpetual balance with nature. We are way out of balance, my friend. I'd have to agree, man. But yeah. What can you do, though? What can you do as just like an everyday person? An individual? Person? Nothing. You can't Is do that shit. Is that just letting ourselves off the hook? Saying that we can't do shit? I mean, we could all do more, right? No, I mean, somebody... We- an individual needs to start like a revolution, you know what I'm saying? And that's tough. That's like really... It takes a bunch of individuals, dude, though, man. You would have to like get rid of this shit. We'd have to go back like 50 years and stay there. People ain't willing to do that, man. You, you know, it's so hard with technology, man. Our and like brain, with we just have a, the way the world is going. Yeah, we we've adapted to technology now, and it's like, even I'm gonna be. I don't want to go without this thing. I know, man. I know how it is. It's too hot. Like, know? and some days I do. Some you know days, I mean? some, some days, days you want to get away, but at the end of the day, like in today's world, you have to stay connected for most. Most things in life. Yep. You know what I mean? To make it's, money, to get even get places now, like GPS. I think GPS. a lot of people feel underlying guilt, though. They like I feel like as humans, we fucking, everybody can feel this underlying tension, like, between us and the fucking world, right. just like all the other fucking organisms and species on the world that we're having an impact on, yeah. and from the fucking climate fighting back, mm-hmm. and just, and from just all these people that come from all these different places in the world that have all these different beliefs, and everybody's getting technology now, and everybody, everything is just so instantaneous with the internet, like, yep, it's all, like, coming to a head, you know what I and mean? And people don't want to get rid of that shit, bro. They just want to keep getting more and more and more, make shit easier and easier and easier. The weird thing about it, though, what I'm saying is I feel like, I feel like there's this underlying thing going on in the world and society right now that like everybody can feel and nobody just knows exactly what it is or how to like put their finger on it. You right, know what I mean? Right. It's all the shit that's going wrong in the world right now. It's fucking Trump. You know what I mean? Everybody's fucking. Cra- it's North Korea. It's fucking. Well, that's the thing, dude. It's like when it comes to fucking this planet up, the U.S. is like the hub. We are the biggest consumer fucking continent or whatever uh, nation. We use more energy per person than any other nation so by a long shot. We 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 make more trash. You know what I'm saying? Like we consume more, therefore we throw more shit away. Therefore, it ends up in the fucking ocean. Like, dude, have you seen this shit? What's it called? Like trash? Trash? I'm just gonna put like trash island. Yeah. Trash, trash out fucking in Pacific. Right? Check this out. Floating island of trash. Check this out, bro. Look at all that. Look at that, there. dude. Look at that. And whether th- look at this. Whether this is overstated by people and, that, and made to look more or sound worse than it is, like looking at these pictures, this is from somewhere. This right. might not be that exact thing, but these pictures of fucking huge here it's called the plastic vortex right here see but is it that big is it really the size of the united states almost no i mean dude or at least the photoshop size is that's a, what i wonder photoshop is a motherfucker and, okay go back to that picture which one that one of the map you just pulled up the vortex yeah so that means if you're flying to hawaii i mean i guess you're gonna barely miss it but if it were moved over just a little bit that would basically mean your entire 6 hour flight to Hawaii you were flying over trash yeah. the entire time if I that mean, pile was moved down just 2 inches these on are that real map. fucking pictures right here though look at that that's like a beach you know what i'm saying 
you just figure, man, the ocean is all about fucking currents and shit, and like all this stuff collects and it ends up and it gets pushed somewhere, like, you know? Dude, it's fucked up, man. We definitely 1000% have an impact on this fucking earth, dude. Look at this. The one thing Look I'm that. getting at, though, bro, Look is when you think, when you get, when you talk about, when you see the statistics about Americans and just what we use and what we're accustomed to. That's why I got that stupid glass water bottle that looks dorky, <laughs> but now I'm not fucking no, I using a, a bunch of water bottles. I have a I mean? fucking, I have a metal one because I, I do the hot yoga mm -hmm. and you need to bring a fucking metal thing in there. A ther like, it's like a thermal thing because you don't want your water to get hot, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to bring plastic in there. Cause it'll get hot and that's bad. Then it'll like leach into the water, you know. Like, anyways, I'm not using plastic water bottles either. It's just so. I never thought about this shit until a couple of years ago. Like until at least my mid twenties, I never thought about like my impact on I know. the environment. You're and just it, like, oh, I'm one person, ignorant and young. Like, oh, I can't change it. I'm just gonna. If you can't beat them, join them. You know. Yeah, and I'm not even sure. I do not want to sound all fucking high and mighty like, oh, I'm Mr. fucking eco-friendly. I'm definitely not no, in any way. Yeah. And I'm not saying that you should have to or you should feel guilty if you don't do this or that. Right. I'm just saying like little things now, like lights. When people leave lights on, it fucking drives me nuts. Dude, when my mom has instilled that. I always make sure every... Me too, That's PG&E, yeah. Bill, man. Me too, <laughs> man. I turn all them bitches on. And then when I like... We get in here, you know, I'll be turning off lights all day, and then we get in here and we, like, fire these fucking know, bright right? lights up. For, and I'm like, man, do we really need these? Like, for what? You know what I'm uh, saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, oh, we like the way it looks, you know? Unfortunately, we need them. Yeah. We only run them for two hours tops. I'm just saying, like, um, uh, would you say your footprint is more or less than the average American? Be real. Um, More. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked. I mean, more... In some ways, less than others, you know, like... You think about travel, and when you have yeah. to get on a plane, and fucking... Yeah. Hey, you know what's a crazy fact, though? Is that, uh, you know, like, planes and cars, yeah, they have a lot of emissions, right? But if you stop eating beef, you, yeah. will, ac you will actually reduce your emissions more than if you switch to an electric car. That is a fact, dude. Cows put out methane, right? Yeah. Methane is a more... Methane is a bad gas, just like CO2. Or carbon monoxide. It's like a way more potent greenhouse gas. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 it's. I'm telling you, look it up, man. Stop eating cows. If you really want to be good, stop eating cows and get a Tesla. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the least, hey, stop eating cows, man. Seriously, it'll you'll reduce the methane. And uh, I thought that was a crazy fucking fact. When are they gonna start making some more fucking cars like Teslas? Like, why do electric cars have to look like fucking priuses why do they all have okay to here's like my that? deal with the fucking electric cars right you're not really reducing your emissions right because you're charging the motherfucker right which takes nuclear power but in tesla's defense now they just came out with this like big fucking battery wall that they literally knock out a wall in your garage right and they build a battery wall and then they put solar panels on top of your garage that feed that battery wall. And then that battery wall charges your car. God damn. So if you do that, then, and you stop eating cows, then you're fucking winning. Tesla also built builds these crazy power stations. Look them up. Look like Tesla facility, Tesla power facility or some shit like that. They do some, some kind of... Uh, they have this facility. I think there's only one of them. Gigafactory. There you go. Yeah, it's in Reno, right? Yeah. Some. Yeah, look at look that. Look at monster. that. All those fucking panels, fully sustainable. Yep. I think they said something like 18 of these could power the whole U.S. Damn, dude. Or the hey, whole. Hey, Elon Musk is about to change the. Elon Musk is the only thing we got going for us. It's gonna fucking get us to a more cleaner energy. Look at all the wind, wind and solar. Yep. Fuck yeah, dude, dude. I fucking love Elon Musk, dude. Like, I do. I fuck with him. He's like the one chance we got at saving this planet. People like that. At least people with ideas like that, uh, you know? I mean, he's trying at least. I could be totally wrong. There could be some nerd over there like, dude, he's just he's just putting on a show and making a ton of money, you know what I'm saying? Like, but well, from, Tesla loses a ton of money. Right, totally. But at from, least they did for from a what long I, time. From what I can see, the motherfucker's trying to save this planet, you know? I like him if if nothing more for the fucking SpaceX. Shit. I just always try to see two sides of the story, but to me, Elon Musk is 
change is changing the world for the better. craziest thing is when you look at what the government spent what governments all around the world spend on space exploration and space missions and just space research and science in general yeah. versus what they spend on other things like fucking defense mm-hmm. and you know defense is a number one fucking expense always right or just military military defense yeah <clears throat> yeah it's just crazy to think that like the most game changing shit being done on like the frontiers of science especially when it comes to space yeah is all private f- privately <laughs> funded by like rich motherfuckers mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah the, the like the the amount that nasa does and the government does and all that shit is just sad if you think about it totally if you think about our reality and what (coughs) we're supposed like what could be you you're talking about earlier about exploring the shit on earth that we haven't seen like we think about when you think about the earth is just a tiny little speck of dust totally dude oh my god hey honestly let's just roll like i think that stemmed from dinosaurs right that was your second one yeah but you just brought up fucking pretty much a, you're segueing right into my fucking next one here we go time travel and outer space estimated square footage of the universe are there multiverses etc that's exactly what i wrote down so that's well, let's just take that step by step that's a whole episode right what do you there. Th- i know should i should we no do- let's get into it all let's right do it. step by step ready one time travel what are your thoughts on that is it real is it not real do you what do you what do you believe in that do you think it's possible have people done it? Like, what? what's the deal here, Shano? I have no idea, man. The more you learn about more different shit, the more difficult it is to believe in any one thing. You know right. what I mean? Dude. Like, how about all fucking, or, or a majority of scientists, or at least a whole lot of accredited scientists, saying that it is, that the chance that we do not live in a computer simulation is slim. The chance chance, 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 that we do not live in a computer simulation is slim. Slim to none. That is fucking nuts, dude. There's definitely some none in there, but from what I've heard, there are like theoretical (laughs) physicists and shit and people with fucking brains a million times more fucking powerful than mine. You know, it's crazy, bro. That say that that could we're be living, our reality. That we're just a simulation of somebody else. We're in just a little bubble. A recreation of some other <laughs> intelligence. You know what I mean? Every star is just like somebody peeking in. And if you think about the, like the you know creation theory, intelligent design, if that's what you believe in, like it could just be that. What if God was just like the dude who wrote the computer program? Yeah, fuck, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. You know? He he's like, it. "All right, I'm going to write the code for like some sick animals." Like, <laughs> yeah. I got my he what if it was just in a warehouse? What if they were building it? What if it's some form of fucking VR, some form of fucking entertainment for some other being that we don't even realize? What if we're just the Sims for some fucking Oh my god. What if we're what if we are living in the Sims version fucking 3,018. <laughs> what if this is it? Right. Oh, my God, dude. I don't know. That, uh, like, who are you to say that that's not possible? To, like, we don't know. We time don't... travel. You asked me if I believed in time travel. Right. You see what I mean? How it's, like, hard to believe in it because it's, like, time travel. Sure, we might live in a fucking simulation. Like, at this point, five years ago, if you would asked me, I would have said, yeah, that shit's all science fiction. None of that shit's possible. None of that shit's possible. For the longest time, like, science kept, like, almost, you know, the time before we were growing up, the 60s, 70s, like, there were discoveries being made, but, like, the horizon was kind of, like, closing a little bit. Right. We were understanding the vastness of space and shit, but, like, the things we thought possible, like, time travel and shit like that, all just seemed, like, so fictional. You totally. know what I mean? No. As, especially as we get older, you know what I mean? And as time goes by and the shit that's happened in science in the last, like, 20 yeah. years, all of a sudden, crazy shit is seeming, like, more and more plausible. Yeah, totally, you know? dude. I mean, we live in a crazy-ass world. Anyway. Like, that fucking guy. Yeah, tell me about this. Say we don't live in a fucking uh, simulation. <laughs> Let's just forget you said all that. Let's say that we live on an organic fucking planet, right? Who's this motherfucker? Look at this, man. This is from, like, nine or what? This is from, like, 
1908 or some shit. 14 crazy pictures of people who might just be time travelers. Look at this guy. He's got some fucking stunners on. He's Dude, got the a... craziest part is that he has the t-shirt that looks like it's pretty obviously screen printed yeah. or something, right? Right. And these these glasses? What are, uh, look at how old everyone else is. And again, who knows? It could be Photoshop. They, no, they I've heard that this, they this swear it's not. They swear it's not. This one has been looked at a is, lot. This is verified from what I know. Verified. <laughs> This is a real picture. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, so the internet says. It's fucking pretty. How about oh, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy is Eddie a time Murphy. traveler. Hell yeah, he is. Damn. Look at this. That's fucking. This. Up. Whoa. 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 Yeah, that one's kind of creepy. But man, okay. Then you think about there's seven point. Or seven some billion other, people <laughs> some on the other, planet. How many people have been on the planet before that are now gone? If you added up all the people that were ever here, right? There's somebody out there. There's probably five people out there right now that look almost exactly just like. I know you. it's just like fucking chance, you know. Like, They'd have different voices and shit, different right. mannerisms. But if you just took a picture of them, I might, and you lined them up in front of me, and you were like, "Which one's Dan?" I might not get them all. Totally. You know. I mean, seven point five. Or there's like eight something billion on this bitch now, right? No, I think it's sad. I, who look it up? <laughs> Fuck. World population. What is the current world population? Oh. Seven point six billion as of December two thousand seventeen. Holy shit. The United Nations estimates it will further increase to eleven point eight billion by the year twenty one hundred. God damn. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. 500 million, huh? We're fucked. Ladies and gentlemen, we are fucked. I mean, I'm holy shitting at the 11.8, but honestly, by 2100, I would have almost thought more. I think they're probably taking into account that people are having less kids, and that's a trend that's probably going to continue, right? Yeah. I don't think people are having children near as much as they used to. They're definitely not having Bro, them as early on in life. I mean, yeah, but then you got your motherfuckers that have like eight. Yeah. Like a but lot. I feel like that's less and less. Like that was a normal thing in the 50s. Right. Was to just like try to spread shit your blood them out. Just shit them you know? out. <laughs> what is it about fucking men as humans that we just, ha- it's instinctual oh, to just, just want to, like, f- spread that fucking seed, you know what dude, I mean? I just want to fuck. <laughs> I just want to fuck like a rabbit, dude. You know? Yeah. You just like it. Dude, I know. It's insane. I'll be out, and I'll just see, like, a hot girl, and just be, like, just fucking it's locked instinctual. in. It's instinctual. Like, what, what you decide to do with that beyond that point is up here. Right. But there's something, instinct, like, in just here wanna... and in here that's instinctual yeah. when you see someone attra- that you're attracted it's to. It's like you know? that shot of fucking testosterone or something, dude. Just like, oh, my God. It's, it's hard to fight. Ladies, it's hard to fight. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't. <laughs> give us a maybe little more. Give us some more credit. Maybe more countries will start putting in mandated. Um, like China? Yeah, like mm-hmm. mandate that you can only have a certain number of kids. I think China actually got rid of that though recently. Did they? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Square footage of the universe. You like that? Dude, and, and then you're talking about parallel dimensions. Like, how about, like, I was actually just thinking about this the other day. Like, every time you think about the universe and they show you a map of the universe, right? Uh-huh. It's always <laughs> like on a flat plane, like, right? Like, when you, not like, you know, when you see when you were a kid and uh-huh. you show they showed us those fucking maps of the universe right. or diagrams and they still had Pluto on them and shit and mm-hmm. counted as a planet. Everything was like in a line, you know what I mean? Right. And I always thought about how far everything is out. They always talk about this is this many miles from the sun, this right. many miles. And when I think of distance and miles, I think of traveling on a flat plane. Right, right, right. right. But then you think of the universe as being like three dimensional. So uh-huh. like the earth is here, right? And you have to go that way for fucking billions <laughs> of light or, or thousands of hundreds of thousands of light years to get to dude, other galaxies and shit. But, but dude, what if instead of going that way, you just went directly down from the earth? Yeah, I don't know. Or How far does it up? go down that way or that way? It's expanding in every direction, every direction infinitely. infinitely. And you know what the craziest thing is too, bro? What? Is now they know that like not only is everything expanding, but or I guess it's kind of inherent in that, is that like 
every single thing uh-huh. in the universe is getting farther from it from each every other, other thing in other. the universe. Yeah. At every time. At, at all times. You know what I mean? Check this out. We should write an answer. There's no answers. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the universe in square feet? Everyone comes to this page and they're like, Oh fuck, that's a good fucking question. You probably gotta log in to make one. That's why nobody's but if we can make an answer, we should put one in. Well, we'll do that later. No one really knows, though. Someone says 5,000 square feet. We'll just I think. put in an equation. E equals MC times GDP times <laughs> 710 squared. <laughs> equals 420 to the root to the root factor of... 69. Yeah. Perfect. Someone says 5,000 square feet. I think they're, they're probably lying. No, nah, they don't know, bro. Nobody knows exactly how big the universe is. We can only even measure or try to calculate or fathom the farthest point that we can see which is just like how how far like how long the light has traveled to us you know what i'm saying right like i don't know how to fucking put into words how to put into words like what i'm trying to say with that but like the fact that okay you look up and you see a star right Uh that star that you see every single night in the sky might have been gone for 10 million years. Yeah, you don't know how long it's gone. That that's that's I mean, that's technically time travel, right? Like, like you're seeing yeah. something that happened in the past. Yeah. That motherfucker is gone. When you look up but in the sky every single night, you are witnessing time, traveling. time travel. You're t- or yeah, you're witnessing because that shit's gone, dude. It took that long for the light to get there that by the time the light gets here, that motherfucker's out. Dude, I said 10 million years. 10 How about try to I try a hundred million light years. Right. Like, dude, light years, that thing bro. could have been burning for a hundred million years. And the light, it took a hundred million years for the light to get here. And then, like, you know, it's like, I can't wrap my head around it. Light years, bro. Light years. Like, I, we can't wrap, you cannot, as a human living on this planet, wrap your head no. around what is a light year. Dude, as soon as you turn that light on, you see it. Bam! That shit's fast, right? Think about... Traveling that fast and it taking you a year to get somewhere. Now Non-stop. imagine a, now imagine a hundred million of those. Jesus fuck. It would take us fucking a hundred kabillion billion million whatever, you know? I can't fat yeah. I mean honestly, dude, I could talk about fucking the universe all for day. like there's nothing more fascinating to me honestly than that as far as like what i want to like when i'm watching something on tv it's like documentaries about that shit right for some reason it's it fascinates hard, it's, me it's it's fascinating as fuck for some right. reason dude. i like it i like it too. it's man. hard to retain the information perfectly so i yeah. just i watch it over and over and over mm-hmm. you know what i mean yep because it's the it's that is some of the only shit i can watch over and over like movies i have a hard time watching movies yeah over and over but like really good documentaries that are done mm-hmm. well dude i like all that shit i like planet earth i like uh neil degrasse tyson and david like, attenborough is it is it like what's his what's wh- yeah what's that oh, boy right there yeah, what's his new show or somewhat new show well, he did the Cosmos, the which Cosmos was like a re- was good. reboot of yeah. the old show that Carl Sagan did totally. way back when. That was good. And then he does he does this new talk show. What's yeah, it? it's uh, uh, talk, Star Talk. Star Talk. I like that too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, dude. man. We need more people like that. Like, not that. Uh, I mean, people will say what they want based on. People like Bill Nye. Bill yeah. Nye has been super out there about certain political views, and mm-hmm. obviously. When you have certain views, people, certain people are going to love you for it and certain people are going to hate you for it. Yeah. So a lot of people look at those guys as like just fucking stick men or whatever, you know what I mean? Totally. But I don't know. I look at fucking dudes like that, like Bill Nye and fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he, he's like the newer version, but when we were kids, it was fucking Bill Nye. Totally. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And we were like four, at the same time, it's kind of weird Bill, when you look Bill, back. Bill, Bill, Bill Nye, the science Bro. guy. Think about how we were force fed that shit, dude. Just shoved down our throats. Like the the uh, elementary school science curriculum uh-huh. was literally Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the, the science, science Guy. guy. Alright, read that for me, dude. That shit's just nuts. Multiverse. The multiverse is a hypothetical set of infinite possibil- possible universes, including the universe which we live in. Together, these universes. Oh, Jesus fucking. Together, these universes comprise everything that exists. 
the, enti- the entirety of space, time, matter, energy, the physical laws, and the, const- and the constants that describe them. This kid can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> the miscellaneous distinct universes within the multiverse are called the parallel universes, other universes, or alternate universes. All right. So, yeah. I guess I shouldn't have had you read all that. <laughs> Pretty much... To, to uh, summarize that, dude, this is saying that right now there's a universe where me and you are doing a podcast and I'm saying the word it right now, it. I'm saying that, it, right now. Then there's another universe where me and you are swimming in the pool. Then there's another universe where me and you are riding in a Ferrari. Then there's another universe where I'm sitting there and you're sitting here. There's in- another infinite. universe where instead of you saying it, I'm saying it. Yes. Or I'm saying pi. Or I'm dude, saying... infinite. Just think about that infinite like dude do you think that's do you think that's possible or is it just a whack theory <clears throat> like do you think i don't know do you, man that's the point you know what i mean that's why we fucking preface this shit with saying we're just two fucking meatheads <laughs> <laughs> talking about shit we have no business even trying to fucking fathom but we yeah. do it because it's fucking fun it's entertaining like this is the shit that this just i fucking, think about this when racks I'm my brain night, dude. you know this racks my brain i don't know man like the multiverse like all all this shit with infinite possibilities to me that like all screams simulation you know right? like only right? a computer could fucking generate something like that you totally. know what i mean nature in and of itself at least the way it seems the way we perceive like, it dude, dude, dude. nature seems more random you right. know what i mean it seems natural selection it seems like nature operates in a different way than a computer program where it just does everything that can possibly be done right but if you think about it natural selection is kind of like a program it's like you know a bunch of simulations and you're left with the best one yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it just depends like if you all these philosophical things like, it's hey, like do you look at it more left brain or more right brain? You have know you what seen, I mean? Like, have you seen the new black one that that one new black mirror where it's about like the dating app thing? Yeah. That shit's nuts, right? It's all just a simulation. So fucks with my it's mind. It's all a simulation. right at the end you're like, "Wow, that was all simulation." And then they picked you know, the best match and then boom, it was a match and then it was over. I was like, that's pretty tri- you know what I'm saying that shit trips me out dude and if uh, th- there you can see it, once you mention that shit about infinite possibilities you can just extrapolate on every topic after that you right. know what I mean so all the every single one of those crazy ass stories in black mirror happened somewhere or actually is happening right now as yeah. we speak right yeah. every single thing Jurassic Park is happening somewhere right now as we speak yep. every single fucking thing that we can that you can come up with in your mind that's possible with... Fi- Maybe that's not even possible with known physics. Who knows? Definitely that's not possible with known physics. Yeah. Anything is possible. And Anything. And is... Ha- and not only is possible... It's the crazy happening. thing about the theory is not that it is possible. It's happening. It's that it is inevitable. It is happening and it's always happening. Right. Since... I don't know. It might be a little stretch for me to be honest. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's possible. I think our like it's just but, like hey, anything's possible. It's just like these big numbers, man. Like most of our minds are just not meant to be able to comprehend this shit. Obviously, there's fucking Einsteins and there's people like that. Yep. Fucking Tesla. You know what I mean? There's people that th- just see things in a different way, and they somehow it almost seems like they somehow know shit that is impossible to know. You know? Yeah. At least at the time frame, you know what I mean? And it always. There's always some weird story about how supposedly, you know, there's stories about fucking di- divine things, like all these crazy ideas and like these crazy things that inventions that like shaped the world were, you know, influenced by people having crazy dreams or fucking psychedelic experiences mm-hmm. or all kinds of crazy different shit, you know? Yep. It's just weird to think about, man. It's a very deep topic, and honestly, I feel like we're going to dip into it quite a bit because we just like to talk, like, like I'm, you know, when we used to live together and shit, like, it's all we watched. Yeah, it was space shit. Through the wormhole <laughs> with Morgan Freeman <laughs> and the Cosmos. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Do you believe in black holes? We might need a, we might have room for Morgan uh, up Morgan, here somewhere. Morgan, where are you going, dude? I'm so happy with the Denzel, dude. Oh, dude, There's one banger. thing I was most stoked about. 
everything else we picked from from the lot on the fucking site except for the Leo and the Denzel. Yep. I had to get the fucking man the on fire, but but I I didn't just go with any man on fire. No, that is. I had to get the one with Dakota. That's that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Protecting the young. That is, Denzel was that man. He was. That's when it started. I mean, Denzel, Denzel was always that man, but that's when it started. That's when he got his swag. Every role for his career after that, he always was that man. American Gangster. Yep. Uh, they, fucking. Uh, uh, training Day. Yeah, that was like one of the first. That was the first movie. That was, that was the that's first what Denzel gave him his swag. movie that made me fucking that's what love gave, Denzel. That's what gave him his swag piece. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. From from tra- time travel to universes to Denzel. It's your turn. King Kong ain't got shit on me. King Kong ain't got shit on me. All right, man. I wanted to ask you about this one. Um, you played football how many years? Nine. Nine years. You started playing when you were how old? Fourteen. 13. 14 years old, so you played, and you, okay, so you, you started playing, we started playing together, fucking freshman, freshman year, year of yeah. high school, I and didn't you play played Pop Warner. three years of college? Four. four, no, I played five. Five years of college. I redshirted and then played four. Okay, so you, yeah, you played nine seasons total. Yeah. What do you think about CTE? It's, As somebody who played college football, how much damage do you think you've done? Oh, this is a good one. Good. And would you have played, if if everything would have gone right in your collegiate career and everything, and you would have made the NFL, if you had aspired to get to the NFL, and or whether or not you did, just you as a person right now, if you had the option to go to the NFL when you were 20, mm-hmm. whatever, 21, 22, right. would you have gone, and how long would you have played knowing what you know now and what I'm sure most players know? I'm sure most NFL players are way more up on – the current CTE research than us. So, to start, CTE is definitely real. You know Fuck what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, thousand percent. Super real. So, with that being said, I feel like that I have done some damage, for sure. Like, I've had just, like, I've had concussions outside of football that were really pretty bad. You know, probably honestly worse than football, but, like, I've had about five concussions from actually playing the sport, you know what I'm saying? Like, in games and shit, and, like, I'm going to be real. A couple of those I kept playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I came to the sidelines and, like, I I, I kind of, like, tried to – I snapped myself out of it and got cleared by the trainer. You know what I'm saying? And they might have been minor, but, like, banging your head every day is not good. But the culture's changed too, right? I mean, getting checked by a trainer and getting sent back in the game in 2001 looks a lot different than it does in 2018. Especially people are so used to seeing – you know, the professional level and the super high collegiate level, it's not right. like that everywhere. You know what I mean? You, right. don't, you don't go under the hood or, you know, under a tent. Right. They don't have replay to go back and look at your hit and uh-huh. shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, no, I mean... I think younger people are, are at a higher risk of... Totally. ...being sent back into games that yeah. they should not be. Totally. I mean, you know, it all, like... On the flip side, right, like, you get paid a lot of fucking money to do that. You know what I'm saying? If I could have went to the league, I would have done it. You know? It's like boxing or UFC. You know what the fuck you're signing up for, man. I think they're kind of going a little too soft on the game. I'm not going to lie. It's The ratings are going down. You know, big hits are part of the fucking game, dude. I know they're violent. I know they're violent. But it's what we want to see instinctually. Why is that? Because they're fucking badass, There's, dude. But that's something about our human nature, I think. You know what I mean? I'm not that, the only one that thinks this, dude. The majority thinks I, this. You know? I agree right along with you. It's like... You know what I mean? But like, at the same the f- time, things are going to change, man. The NFL will look... and the I think the NFL in 50 years, if it's still around, will look so incredibly different than Here's it looks Here's the now. problem with the fucking NFL. I'm going to be 1,000% real, dude. It's not the fact that they let that shit happen... Right? It's the fact that they don't take care of their players after they're gone. Yeah. Like, damn, man. Fucking hook them up with some insurance or something. You know what blows my mind, too? When you realize the fucking salary that Roger Goodell gets paid. 
forty something million, right? Who 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 put any fucking average Joe on their couch playing fantasy football on a fucking Sunday? Who would not take that job for one one thousandth of what they pay him? That guy makes what like thirty million a year? I think it's like forty two. Forty million. Let's 50, see. Who Let's the fuck see. knows? He makes millions and millions of times more than what he's worth. He Roger sucks Goodell, at his job to begin with. Salary. Let's see right here. Fucking fuck, dude. Fucking fuck. He just asked to raise this, his salary from thirty million to forty nine point five million. That was in November twelfth of two. Oh, oh, he did. Yeah. He needed an extra nineteen five. Yeah, a hey. to cover expenses as the league commissioner. Ah. Uh, Wow, dude. Forty nine point five million dollars. Is he the most overpaid guy in America? Fuck yeah, fuck that guy, dude. And they don't take care of none of their players after dude. Still to this day. They need to change that policy, dude. I mean that's not on him, that's on the owners, that's on the NFL as a whole. You're but right. I'm just saying he could conduct it though. Literally this guy he could conduct it. Yeah. Literally this guy's entire job is just to fucking play nice and get along with the owners. You know what I mean? Which I get. That's in in a sense that is kind of his description. He's, is he's to, like is to best convey the consensus, decision making and wishes of well, the ownership. He's who like are the, the people he's, invested. He's like the warden. Yeah, <laughs> he's the enforcer. He's the one that like, you know, sets the fines and all that shit, right? But he just fucks up time after time, time after bro. After like fucking time, dude. The way like, I mean, a lot of people time have stopped su- supporting. The NFL just based on all of the shit that's gone wrong the last like three or four years. It's not, I don't think it's as much about the CTE and the violence as people say. Right. I think people actually like that, whether they want to admit it or Dude, not. Dude, I mean, like I said, you know, I played football for nine years, and you know what you're signing up for. And if you're making fucking eight million dollars a year to maybe take a couple hits, shit. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say I w- I wasn't saying I wouldn't do it either because I would. I would you do it know. a thousand percent. That's the life, bro. And like, so but how long would you play for? You see some of these guys. Like, remember the year the Niners all of a sudden had all these guys retiring, like super young. Like Patrick Willis is the obvious example. He was obviously injured and shit. He had some some injuries throughout his career. I kind of understand why he would retire earlier more than some other guys. But there right. was a couple guys that just retired because they were scared of having concussions. Right. I mean, they were getting paid millions of dollars in their twenties, early twenties, mid twenties. You know. Honestly, like I would, I would just play it by ear, you know. If I made it, like my career, honestly, wasn't too violent. I took a couple like big hits over the middle, but I never, I can honestly say, I never got whacked to where I didn't know where I was. I never got knocked out, you know. I never, like, I never went limp on the field. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got boom. I got like, poo. It like went really bright for a second, and then it came back. Because I think, I mean, I am no fucking doctor, but I think. Those are the ones that got to be the those most are, damaging. Th- those are when you got to take a step back and be like, maybe I should stop doing this. There's you know? got to be some kind of like, long-term effects from those. It's like you see fighters, bro. Like yeah. fighters that get knocked out too many times or maybe fighters that just get knocked out once. Get one bad knockout the first time you've ever seen them get knocked out. Right. They're on a roll until then. They have that one and it changes them. It doesn't matter how old they are. What It could happen yeah. to anybody. Honestly, my worst concussion came at science camp. <laughs> Really? You want to hear? You're a little kid. Yeah, bro. Right across the street from uh, Redwood Elementary. Oh that, shit. That, that camp, right? It was uh, sixth grade. We went to camp. I was with like me, Danny, a couple stupid little homies. You know, we were in the bathroom and we put the plunger on the mirror. And then the teacher came in and we were like scared she was gonna catch us. So we were run. I was running this way and the door was there. Showers were straight, and there was like a step. And I'm running and I try to turn to go out the door and there's water on the ground and i slip boom hit the back of my oh. head hit the back of my head on the tile fucking uh step right on the corner boom busted it i was out in the shower for like 10 minutes i woke up like soaking wet there was a bunch of blood i walked oh. out i puked right away i puked yeah. like that when you're puking that's a bad concussion yeah i think I, doesn't that usually happen a little later too like sometimes you puke for a while right i think yeah yeah. I, yeah, I went. I like went home. My mom picked me up. I went home, got naked in front of her. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> something I would never do. You know, as a little boy, you're like, I like, I was out of it, dude. Like, I just like went, got naked in the living room. She's like guided me to the shower. You know, it's took, scary took, to think about, man. Took me straight to the ER. You know, what is that shit gonna fucking look like? In I don't not know. too long. I don't know. 
it's it's gonna be pretty boring to watch <laughs> if you're talking about the NFL, right? Yeah, yeah. but in the, dude, not only the NFL, other sports too. Supposedly, soccer is like just as bad, if not worse, because of all the headers. Like once you get yeah. to high levels where they're doing crazy shit like that, people get fucking kicked in the head in soccer and all kinds of crazy shit. Like yeah. just because and. Just because you're not getting hit directly in the head doesn't mean you're not necessarily getting some head trauma, too, is what I've been hearing, too, from some of the newer shit, you know? Right. It's just like whiplash. Even net, and you didn't, head doesn't even necessarily have to Dude, come yeah. into contact with something. You My know? neck is fucked up from football. Yeah. For sure. 100%. I don't know, man. It's weird. I think you're going to see a lot of people rethinking their career at a lot earlier ages. I, I know fucking rob gronkowski there's all this shit in the news that like he might retire or he's really? talking about it or thinking about it yeah you know yeah. guys like that that are still making fat paychecks right you know it's in crazy. the prime of their career are gonna start walking away and they can still be endorsed thing. though that's the thing the main thing i think that you're gonna see over long term bro is less and less parents are gonna let their kids play football and that's gonna lead to like the best athletes playing basketball and totally. playing. maybe it'll lead to a resurgence in baseball probably not probably not it'll probably be another sport like 50 years from now another sport will probably be popping it'll be like i was gonna say the cross but that's basically on the same lines of football yeah no nah. just as bad but it'll be some other fucking sport if i could make one prediction for the future in sports it's gonna be like one of the major sports is going to be gone, maybe two. Right. Probably football, probably maybe baseball. Right. And I a think, new one's going to come up. Yeah. yeah. There'll be something new. Like, when's the last, how come nobody's invented a new sport? When was the last new fucking sport invented to, like, catch on? I've tried to sit down and actually do it, bro. It's fucking hard. <laughs> I remember, I think we tried <laughs> to do that for, like, a school project once like, when we were kids. Whoever came up with basketball was, like, pretty smart for their time. Yeah, but they didn't want dunks. I know. Dunks used to be illegal. Isn't I know. that crazy? Fuck that. That's the dopest part. Yeah. That was like a cheat code. <laughs> they fucking. Yeah. For people like Wilt and shit. But yeah, it's crazy to just think about all the things that are still prominent in today in 2018. The things that are such a big part of our society and how far they go back and yeah. the weird backstories behind them. And really, we think there's new shit. There's new technology, but like our rituals and the thing we do, things that we do today are still based around a lot of the same shit that they were fucking 50 to 100 years ago. Totally. It's weird. Yeah, it is. That was a good one. Football is uh, it's honestly something that I miss very much, man, but can't get those years back. So. I haven't seen any ill effects in you. Like, I've known you my whole life. I knew you the whole time you were playing football. You see some of these guys that get done in the NFL, and, like, they – don't know where they're at. They don't know what their fucking name they're is. They can't remember. Far, I was a little depressed. I'm not they don't gonna, recognize people. I was know? more depressed though, just because like I lost something I loved. You know, it wasn't because of the head trauma or whatever. So, yeah, fucking. That's a whole other topic. Is people adjust into life after that? Any oh, athlete, yeah. when that's all you do your whole life, you were a top recruit as a kid. People were yeah. telling you that you're gonna be the shit. You have basically have, if you if you have a successful athletic career, you basically have everything made for you as far as like financially and shit while you're playing. The a lot of people the, don't plan, and then real life hits them afterwards, right. and that's coupled with not having basketball yeah. or that thing to lean on anymore. Bro, yeah, that, that's the worst. Is when you're you're all growing up, you're expected to make it, and you don't. That's when so you're like, fuck, man. You can get real depressed. You know when everyone tells you the oh you're. You, you, yeah, you got what it takes to go D1. Oh, you got what it takes to go to the NFL, you know? There's a lot of luck involved in that shit, too. Yeah. Like, you got to have the right political, circumstances. T- political poll, you know? Even where you grow. I mean, obviously, it's different nowadays. They got fucking scouts everywhere, but that's why, I mean, that's a, the, the, that's always been my beef with college football is I just can't get into it because it's the same fucking four teams every year. They get all the best players, and it's just like, I don't... Why, like, the schedule is stupid. Why don't they schedule games you actually want to watch? I don't want to watch fucking Ohio State beat some stupid little school 66 to 3. Right? That should, that's not competition. Not. That shouldn't, that shouldn't that should never exist in a, in a league that makes that much fucking money. I know. <laughs> fucking non profit, right? You know, like, the fact that people will pay to go see that and watch that, like, I realize that I probably am in the minority. I have a disconnect. Like I never went to a college that, and I didn't have that sort of like. I mean, I love college football. Yeah, school but, spirit. but you're right. It's always Alabama, fucking Clemson. 
uh i never felt that growing up though you know what i mean like yeah. that school spirit like sports was the only thing that ever made me feel that a little bit right i mean me too I didn't, like, go to the rallies and be like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> but there's so many people that, like, are in their 30s and 40s and still go to their, like, local fucking football games because that's what they did when they right. were in college. And, like, I get that. I'm not hating on that at all. I'm just saying it's hard for – the thing that's hard for me to relate to because I didn't, I didn't have that position. Mm-hmm. If I went to a school, I'd probably be the same way. Right. I didn't do that. I watch fucking – I grew up watching professional sports where, like, I get – you want you become a fan of a team and then you become a fan of the players on the team right. and then you follow the players around the league and shit. Mm-hmm. College is just like there's so many one and dones and shit, especially in basketball. Like I don't know how anybody gets into college basketball right. or yeah. not to say I don't know how they do, but I just I've tried to get into it. I can't relate to it. Yeah, no, I don't really watch college basketball either, but when you can relate to something like I you know, I played college football yeah. so I can relate to it and exactly. like Exactly. I was always watching the games, like, on the road. When we would travel to, you know, go somewhere and play, I'd be, like, in the hotel watching the, you know, whatever college game was on. Like, I was into it back then, so I still am a little bit. You know, I, pretty much now I only watch the college p- football playoffs. It That's makes like, total sense for somebody like you, though, because, like, you were growing up it was in a that passion. culture. You and all your boys on the team yeah. wanted to fucking – We'd be sitting there you like – You had dreams of going to this school or this school. Right. You guys would talk about, like, yo, I heard this school is dope. Or right. you should. Everybody was trying to get on to another school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, like, thinking about it in that sense, like, oh, I probably would have been fully immersed in it, too. Yeah, it was just, like, it. a passion of mine, and, like, that's, we'd always be talking about it. Like, oh, did you see the Cal-Stanford game, you know? Like, you know. So, fuck, I miss football. But, yeah, that's a good one. That's why I'm fucking playing this adult baseball league, man. It's just good to have something. If if you grew up <laughs> playing sports and you loved it, man, it's good to have get, something. I got to get out there with you. Yeah, you did it with me the first year. I hit a dinger. This is my gotta, third year doing it, man. I'm fucking loving it. I got to get my home run ball in here. God, that was that. so funny, dude. When I hit that, dude, you're like, dude, the first thing you said, what'd you say? You're like, <laughs> tee him up. It's home run derby time. I got a little too hyped. The first baseman was pissed. He's like, come on, man. Tell your homie to shut up. I'm like, hey, I just hit a dinger, man. Dinger! Yeah, that was the first one I've seen since fucking Little League. So I crushed I, that thing. I had, Of course I was fucking wilding out, that, man. Hey, that fence was like 380? That's that's something. the thing. We were, that wasn't like the super competitive league, too. You know no. what I mean? We were playing with dudes our age, but also some older dudes. Right. If the pitcher, I, the pitcher was like 40. One thing, if we were playing in the fucking 18 to 25 league or some shit, you know what right. I mean? Or the 25 and under or whatever it was, no. you know what I mean? Yeah. But I, who the fuck cares? Uh. Everybody's out there fucking Hey, we're jokes. not. We're 27 now, man. Yeah, I got to play with the old dudes. <laughs> yeah, now. fuck, we're old. The hell? It's fun, though, dude. I love it. Roger Dell. What a fucking bitch. 49.5 million dollars. All right. What are we is it am I up or are you up? Where are we at here? Sorry, I'm I'm really high over here to be honest. I think I'm up. Hit I me. uh So honestly, uh I'm definitely guilty of eating super fucking fast, right? People call me inhale man, <laughs> including yourself yeah. and my mom. And uh when I was back visiting my mom, right? She told me uh that I need to slow down because it's bad for me. And I was like, oh, shut up. There's no there's no truth to that. You know, it doesn't matter how fast you eat, but guess what? What? It does. Is it right? definitely matters, dude. Do you eat slow or do you eat fast? It depends on what I'm eating. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think I probably eat media. Everybody thinks they probably eat normal, right? Right. You eat fast, though. You I just eat, inhale dude, your I fucking fu- food. I literally, I clean my plate every time. If it's flight. something good, bro, I savor it a little bit. You, you know? do? A little I just, bit. I've been, honestly, I've been working on eating slow because, look at here, it's all about eating slowly. The benefits of slow eating include better digestion, better hydration, easier weight loss or maintenance, or like it's easier to maintain your weight or lose it, and greater greater satisfaction with meals. Okay, I'm going to bro science this one. Okay. Um, it's probably because your body has a longer period to understand like, oh, we're eating. Time to get the metabolism going. Start, time to start the eating Dude, and fat actually, burning process. You you're know actually, what I mean? You're, I looked this up before I came here. I'm not going to lie. I cheated. But you're actually really close. So it takes 20 minutes approximately for your brain to tell your body that, or for your body to tell your brain that it's full. It takes about 20 minutes. So what this is all telling me is that 
the key part of any meal is an appetizer. Yeah. Right? To Pretty, get your yeah. appetite going. To yeah. Start, and you got to like savor it and eat it slow. Just eat it slow. That's why like finger food yeah. is good because it's something that you can just like fucking totally. like wings or fucking fries or right. something. Well, Obviously not something like it's that. It's not good for you. Or eat a fucking salad, salad. but eat it slow. Salad. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And eat it slow. You got to eat slow, dude. If you're trying to lose weight, you know, or obviously not gain weight, you know, it you got to eat slow. I didn't know that. Like, honestly, I really, I was like, mom, you're, you're tripping. You know what I'm saying? And then I started thinking, why do I eat so fast, man? Is it because I'm super high all the time? Is it? I don't know why you eat fast, bro. You've done that your whole fucking life. I know. Life. But it's not like I gain a ton of weight, but like. It, you know, what I'm scared is that it's, like, fucking up my digestion method and however my body digests food. I'm afraid it's, like... I'm sure just like anything, depending on your body and your makeup, it probably is more important to some people than right. other people. But I think just as a general rule of thumb, yeah, it's probably the way to go. I feel like I do always eat more when I go to, like, a restaurant and right. I eat... Sl- and I do get an appetizer and right. I, ha- I, like... You know, whether it's, like, bread or chips or some shit, you, right. like, want to eat some, but you want to, like, wait to eat your real I mean, food. Dude, and it's always I, that battle of, like, not eating too much yeah, bread. Yeah. Everybody goes yeah. through that shit, you know? Can't eat too much bread, dude. But, dude, I fucking love food, man. Like you were, too. Like you were saying earlier how it's, like, instinctual for us to just want to fuck, like, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck. Dude, it's instinctual for me to fucking eat, man. Like, to want to eat. I just want to fucking eat. Just fucking eat. Well, they're the two most things that are most significant to our survival right yeah fucking and eating eat you gotta eat and drink you gotta fuck and you gotta drink water yeah but really i mean you could you definitely need to drink water right but you could just get moisture from your food if you're totally eating like a bunch of you could survive on just lettuce, fruits and shit lettuce is like 90 no percent water right if you ate enough yeah, eat, yeah that's crazy right i just want to eat fucking sleep water i don't know Diff- sense, different though. molecular fuck i don't know man <laughs> just be really porous and hold a lot of water yeah shit's porous man it's <laughs> gonna be the podcast with the most misinformation given <laughs> yeah. out on the whole fucking internet <laughs> oh my god but you just, you just know that going in we put a fucking warning up there danger eye and ear protection required at all times so, so i don't so there's nothing to complain about if you're from sensitive here on out. get the fuck out of here <laughs> If, if you're, you're easily n- triggered, if you're easily I triggered, just exiting now. Yeah. If uh, if you're not a real one, please leave now. Yeah, eating slowly. Yeah, that's a a good yeah. one. I feel like that's the advice one of the day. Every one, yeah. every podcast we've kind of had one that's like kind of a weird one off yeah, that they're... I'm like I'm either just reminding myself to like do this more or right. like a thing that I heard. Uh-huh. Cuz the thing about this bro is I hear a lot of shit and we're bombarded with like a lot of facts and numbers mm-hmm. and statistics and shit and it's hard to like retain it all. You right. know what I mean? Especially right. if you're not studying it but you're just trying to learn things in mm-hmm. passing. Yeah. So when I fucking hear something that I want to remember, I catch myself writing it down now. Me too. You know what I mean? This is more of a reminder to myself. I'm sure there's a lot of motherfuckers out there that eat fast, though. You know? So to all those people out there, slow down. Enjoy your food. All right, I got a good one for you here. Hit me. This is probably my my favorite one of the week, at least as far as from a (laughs) mind fuck perspective, right? The butterfly effect. What is that? Is that a movie? It is a movie <laughs> with Ashton Kutcher. Okay. <laughs> but that's not the one I'm talking... Well, that I guess that is the one I'm talking about, technically, because that is kind of about what I'm... That is about the butterfly effect. Okay. But basically, the butterfly effect is just saying that it's basically like a ripple. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, you throw a rock in a fucking pond, the waves fucking go out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It, it's just like everything... There you go. In chaos theory, the butterfly effect is the sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which small change in one state of... of what the fuck word is that? Nonlinear? De- de- deterministic. Oh. Nonlinear systems can result in large differences in a later state. I, I so basically, know. it's uh, people always use the analogy like a butterfly flapping its wings can make something happen on the other side of the world. You know what I mean? Okay. Just by... Just the wind... Okay, here's a great example, right? This is another, probably the best example that I've heard that like is the most relatable to me. Seth MacFarlane, right? Okay. 
he was scheduled to be on one of the flights that went down on 9-11. Damn. Seth MacFarlane, the guy who created Family Guy, uh-huh. has been doing Family Guy and all this other shit for the last fucking 15, 20 years. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, he was supposed to be on one of those planes. He got too fucked up the night before Damn. and missed his flight. Wow. If he had been on one of those flights, he would have died. Yep. Family Guy would have I see either never existed or it would have stopped much sooner on. Right. Because he's that whole show. He, he does is. all the voices. I know. Obviously, a ton of the creative influence, so, at least early on. The butterfly effect is simply you take this out of the equation and this, 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 this doesn't happen. Well, yeah, think about it, bro. Because, like, think about or, all the millions of people that watch Family Guy. Think about right. all the millions of hours, billions of hours that right. have been spent watching Family Guy. Had all those people that watched it not watched Family Guy at that time, right. they would have done something else with that time. And then Either it, done something productive or watched a different show that would have influenced them right. in different ways throughout their life that might have made them make their life. other decisions different that yeah. ended up being huge. Right. You know? And there's a million of those. How weird is that, oh, dude? It's so, dude, that just is too big to even comprehend, too. Like. You could also put flip it the other way. Like instead of taking something out of the equation that changes X, Y, and Z, you could put something in. You could make a choice that you normally like that. You know, you could put something in that would change X, Y, and Z. Yeah. You know. That's the like. That's the thing. The best part to like take away from it, I mm-hmm. think, is like the, the it's choices. A, it's a weird, it's, fucked up thing to like think about at first, and then you realize that it's almost kind of empowering. Right. You know what I'm saying? It like gives you, it makes you realize that like you have the power to fucking control things that you may not even realize. Right. And just by going, as long as you like stay the path, mm-hmm. it might venture off. You know what I mean? In different directions, right. and you might not even realize you're going in those directions mm-hmm. at the time. But as long as you like stay the course, yep. If you do the right things, you're gonna get the fucking right results. Just make you know the right. I mean? Try to make. Or you're you're gonna get unpredicted results, but it's gonna be the results that came from what you did well, the or right, what was done elsewhere the best choices you can make yeah just like the universe and shit you right. know what i'm saying i don't know man it's kind of fucking right big picture like but i don't know the, the, it's just weird to think about it is i forgot all about this movie though i think i i think i might have seen this 2004 dude we were 14 years old ashton kutcher yeah i'm pretty sure i've seen this he comes he's like dating this hot chick Everything's good. He fucks around. Some kind of butterfly effect shit. Some kind of notebook. Crazy shit. And uh, he comes back with like no arms and he's in a wheelchair and the hot chick's yeah, dating yeah, yeah. like the nerdy dude. And you yeah, see yeah. I mean, I've seen it. I just, it's been a while. I don't really, I don't retain movies that well, to be real. Like, I can't, I, when people are like, yeah, you remember that, that one part and that, 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 that? And I'm like, no. Oh. Bro, I always think I, I haven't remember, seen I remember, a movie and I start watching it and 20 minutes in I go, oh, fuck, I've seen this. Really? Yeah, all the Damn. time, dude. I'll remember like the beginning, middle, and end. That's it. I got a bad memory, but straight up, dude, it's been bad my whole life, way before I started smoking weed. Yeah, me too. It, weed has not, I mean, weed doesn't make it any better, dude. I forget shit. I'll walk down to my car and be like, oh, I forgot my keys. You know, like. Definitely does not make it better. <laughs> and it's because I just took eight bong rips, you know, and just run out. I literally just hit the bong and walk out with nothing. I did it today on my way over here. It's <laughs> just crazy to think about, dude, the decisions that you have made in your life. The decisions that you made today mm-hmm. that are going to have unintended consequences yeah. 10 years from now that you won't even... Right. Maybe even... You might not even realize 10 years from now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're able to look back at it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, look back at it. <laughs> look back at it. Crack, like, you, crack, th- you think about like if I hadn't have watched this one fucking video here on YouTube, maybe we would have never started a YouTube right. channel, which opened up all kinds of other doors for us. We might not even which, be friends now. Yeah, who knows? We <laughs> might have, we, you we might have fucking went off to college. That might have been like the one thing that kept us kind of like in so- constant contact right. and shit. Because that's what happens, bro. People drift apart. You're the only person I still know from like my childhood. Me too. You know what I mean? Pretty Tons much. of people that I thought I would like know and be friends with forever. Yeah. That's kind of another lesson too, bro, to like young people mm-hmm. that get so caught up in like This guy the, doesn't like me. The world and yeah. what other people think of them. Like, yeah. like dude. It, the rea- the reality is it's most likely that in ten years Right. Those people aren't gonna give a fuck once you get about out, you and you're not gonna give a fuck about once them. Once you get out of those educational I don't know what to call them. <laughs> like an educational, the educational system. Like just yeah, like that little 
small little School's world. School's a weird thing. Bro. It is, bro. Let's not. I mean, dude, we could go out. We should bring that up. You know, like it's a security blanket. That's the way I look at it. And as soon as you step out of that, you realize the world's yours. You can make. You could move to fucking Brazil tomorrow. Learn fucking their language. Make new friends. Get a job. Like. That's like really inspiring to some people and really terrifying to some people. I think it sounds dope. You know, I mean, it is scary though. When you first, the first time you get out on your own, bro, whether yeah. you're 18 or it's scary. the first time you're, you realize that like you're the only one who's going to support you and right. you're the only one who's going to make sure the bills get paid. Otherwise, you're the only one who's going <laughs> to suffer the consequences. Mm hmm. That first realization, no matter what time in life that happens to you, scary. like it, it's, it's scary for everybody yeah. at first. You and know then, what I mean? Yeah, you just gotta flip it. But make... yeah, if you take that, like that first eighteen, you know that when you hit eighteen, that first year or whatever, or whenever you move out of your parents' house or your childhood situation, and right. you get out on your own. And that first year of being an adult, bro, like scary. that's the most empowering year of your life as far as like building your confidence and mm -hmm. shit. It starts off the scariest, but if you can just get through it, you're like, all right, I finally feel like I can actually get through some real life shit. Yeah, now. you got to flip it, make it empowering. Yeah. Because the struggle builds you, man. That shit builds character, you know? I was editing one of the podcasts, and I one thing that you said stuck with me. It was something about like how you when you're a kid, you like always think that your parents got shit figured out. Yeah. And then you realize that like, when you get to a teenager, you think you have shit figured out. And then when you're twenties, you realize you didn't have shit figured out then. Like yep. you always think you have shit figured out until you realize that you like, don't. you never, you do. don't have shit figured out and no one around you has shit figured mm -hmm. out. No, you know what Even I mean? when you got millions of dollars, dude, you don't have it figured out. Everybody's got something. Everybody's got fucking room to grow. Everybody's got something that they need yep. to work on. Everybody's got something that they need to, Totally. You know, I think the whole key to fucking being happy, bro, is progress. Totally. If the, you know, keep going and up. like bettering, like personal progress, like yourself. trying to be a better version yeah. of yourself. You know, totally. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The butterfly, the butterfly effect. Effect, 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 effect. That's a good one, though. I think that is a good one. It's, uh... it's something I definitely. It's not really something you can learn about per se. It's just right. something you like think about and theorize about. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. Ashton right. Kutcher. Yeah, Purple Kush. Fuck out with that guy. Uh, this is my... That was, was that five? Uh, I got one more here for you. Well, I, was that... Am I up or are you up? You're up. Okay. I got one. This one's pretty funny. Why do people talk to pets and babies like fucking retards? <laughs> Why do we do that? Hey, you... you <laughs> Why do we do that shit? Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. I do it to my dog. I do it too. Everybody does it. <laughs> hey, baby. It's so funny like, when you see a fucking. <laughs> Why is that? Why? Why is that like human nature to do that? I think people. Do, I bet you all cultures don't do that. You know? I bet you like people that raise their kids fucking in the jungle and have to like carry them on their backs. I bet you they're not doing that no. shit with their kids. I bet you there's places in the world, like, maybe this is an American thing. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's so weird, though. I Hold on. Go down right there. Well, where are we? What are you talking about? Linguists have studied the characteristics. Oh, the they studied it. Talk to babies and to pets and found a great deal of overlap. The f Infant direct speech, also known as motherese. Higher pitched, yeah, and slow articulation. Okay. I don't. I think it's just on. If I had to guess, hey, woo, 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 woo. but with kids, <laughs> I think it's just something that they respond to. Like you're trying to send off good vibes to them. I think so many people are like. So yeah, I've I've actually I've thought about it a little bit too. Honestly, like after I thought after I initially thought about it, and I was like, it's probably us just trying to let the dog know that like when they hear that sound we are talking to them yeah since they can't un since they can't understand english you know obviously <laughs> they can understand like no and shit but that's more of just like that no like you say it the same every time yeah so you want them when you want them to know that you're happy you talk to them like this 
And yeah, we, I think like it's know? saying there's some overlap between people, right? Or, or between babies and between dogs. Like right. dogs, you you just want to keep consistent. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like right. I, I got fucking four dogs, bro. Mm-hmm. I do the same. I talk to all my dogs the yeah. same. They all know the same commands. It's the same thing. But you talk to the them that way. What I'm saying is when you talk to them that way, because you want them to know whether you're angry or mad. When you're angry, it's no. When you're when you're happy. It's uh, hey, how they, you doing? Yeah. What's up, copper? Yeah, you know, like you know, th- that way they know by just by the tone, the pitch, and the tone. Whether yeah. they need to pay attention, whether it's playtime, right. whether it's time for this, time for that. You know what I mean? Right. But I think for humans, we do it for different reasons. I think it's more just to make it easier to understand, right? Because you don't want to. Someone like me is terrible. That's one thing I'm trying to get better at on this podcast uh-huh. is enunciating better and me too. stop using as many filler words. That's yeah. one thing I think we're both going to get personally out of this more than anything else is we're going to be be forced yeah. to listen to ourselves talk so much that we're going to be forced to improve our speech. Pattern. Yeah, I, I got to cut out all the like, you know what I'm saying, and shit yeah. and fuck and all that stuff. The shits and fucks are fine yeah. as long as it's... As long as there's some con, some some content some in substance between. Some to it, yeah. But yeah, I hate hearing myself say, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Too I, many I, likes, too many non yeah. means. I, I'm pretty good with the likes. I don't say like, 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 like. A lot of people do. That's probably the number one. Like. One that everybody does. Like. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think we talk to babies that way because yeah, that makes sense right there. What it says on this uh, ar- article right here, you know, we talk to a baby, you want to slow it down. Higher pitch is easier to hear rather than a lower pitch like this. Same thing with a baby though. You're yeah. also trying to teach a baby like. Well, no, right that's from what I wrong. said. A baby. Yeah, no, but I'm saying same thing as with the dog for the oh, pitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want them to know that like it's a good mood, and you also uh-huh. just want overall. I think people just like see babies, and they don't want to be a dick to a baby for right. no reason. Yeah. So even like people that don't have kids or whatever will like sometimes. I think what you're saying is kind of at least in American culture, which is all I have experience with in right. depth. It's super prominent. Everybody does that. It's, You'll see a biker dude. Oh, look at the baby. So you'll see a huge ass fucking yeah. big old biker dude get off a of Harley mm-hmm. and fucking go over to his little chihuahua and talk to it like it's a little just like that you yep. know what I mean yep I don't know what that is it's something you're, you're right it's, it's funny weird right? with the it, way we it's just something funny that you never really think about when you like in the moment you do it subconsciously you just, it's just a norm you know but then you take a step back and you're like wow that girl just walked in with this baby and we all just Acted like four year olds. You need oh, hey, look at the baby. Oh, look at the baby. Yeah. I do it with my fucking dogs all the time. Yeah. Bro. Guys want a treat? Yep. Want or a treat? no. Put it down. Yep. Leave it. You know what I mean? I thought that was a pretty good one. It's imagine if you t- walked around all the time talking in <laughs> like, dog yeah. voice. No. If if guys <laughs> walked around all the time talking in the bad <laughs> voice and girls yep. walked around all the time talking in the high pitched voice, lot, some of them do. There'd be a lot more fucking going on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or none. Or none. If everything was like, hey, <laughs> hey, put it down. I mean, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got my last one here is kind of another little mind fuck. How insane is overnight shipping when you think about <laughs> the logistics dude yeah i don't know how they make any money on it i put i threw a couple little tidbits in here fedex yeah, number one hub shipment. their number one hub is in memphis tennessee who fedex yeah that's where the hub's at memphis tennessee which you think about you're like why the fuck is it in tennessee but you think like geographically mm-hmm. not necessarily for the u.s but for like all the places that they ship to most it's the best for whatever reason, right. the best location in the U.S. Do they provide global uh, overnight shipping? I'm pretty sure they do. Um, so Anchorage, Alaska is the fourth largest cargo airport in the U.S., again, because of geography. So you think about all the biggest airports, the biggest, the fourth biggest uh-huh. is in Anchorage, Alaska, where there's barely any people compared what? to all the big metropolitan cities yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow, that's insane. Amazon ships, and then I wrote, what about Amazon? Yeah, right. You know, because Amazon ships over 1 million packages a day, and they just started their own fleet. So they're basically going to cut out the middleman. They're not going to need fucking FedEx to ship their shit. No UPS, no USPS. They're just cutting out the middleman, bro. You're going to get your shit direct from Amazon. So they're going to be on the line for every 
every part of the process. You know what I'm saying? We need to buy Amazon stock. I mean, I think people have been saying that for the last fucking 10 years. I said it 10 years ago. I had no money. Fuck, dude. Fucking A, dude. That's insane. But, dude, it's just weird to think about. Goodbye, government post system. If you ever have time, sit down and watch a fuck. There's like a seven-minute YouTube video about like what it takes logistically to actually get overnight shipping done, especially to like remote places. Hey, trust me. I've thought about it. (laughs) It's just crazy, dude. Like, I... I hadn't you 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 go and you do it. You're like, hey, I need it. this to be in Florida tomorrow. And you're like, damn, that's expensive. And but, then you fucking sit back and realize, like, what am I complaining about? Look at what yeah. is, is available. The fucking service that is available to people now. Right. Imagine how long it would take to get some shit to somebody in Florida in 1950. Oh my god, probably fucking four months by buggy. Just or, <laughs> <laughs> right before they invented cars, whatever yeah, that was. When it was <laughs> the first cars went pretty slow, right? <laughs> yeah. Only when it was like 40. train shit, dude, it would probably take like fucking a month to get to Florida. Right? Just on the railroad. I don't know, man. It's just fucking crazy to think about. It's a very intricate system. I'm not going to lie. That's very impressive that we can do that. And if it's really global, that's even crazier. It's funny. We didn't really know like what we just kind of we just decided to start filming this fucking podcast. We didn't right. really know like what it was going to evolve into, and we still don't really know. But no. what I kind of feel it evolving into is just like, How at least what I write. It's just mind fucks. Yeah. It's just things that like happen to me in daily life or occur to me and just fuck with my that, mind that, a little like, bit. Throw you, know you for I mean? a loop. You that know? make you be like, wait a minute. How? How is that how? possible? Or how do they pull that off? Or that's amazing. Yeah. Or that I can't. Or this a lot is, of it is shit I'm confused about. Or this about, is fucked honestly. up. Or, yeah, or just pointing out, like, shit that throws our mind, shit we think about, you know? It's pretty crazy when you think about all the shit that gets shipped all around the world every single day. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff and all, and And, like, the fact that, like, that has to, that whole entire process has to keep moving in order for, like, what, probably the majority of businesses to operate, at least businesses and sales, mm-hmm. like, What's going to happen to retail stores in fucking 50 years? Are they still going to be around? I don't know. I have no idea. I think it's going to be more of like a virtual shopping experience where you can put on a fucking VR headset and just go into a fucking store. You know what I'm saying? I did that for a uh, college project, bro. I swear. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. It was virtual grocery shopping. It was like a (laughs) game. And we would like, like, you know, there's like perks where you could like go around and like start a fight with somebody and like collect points and shit. Like, <laughs> but yeah, it was a virtual shopping game. I swear to God, dude. Like, it was for Miss Turner's class. Like, I'll never forget it, dude. Like, when you, like, when I heard about, because I've heard about that shit. I think we were talking about it the other day. Yeah. Fucking. I saw a YouTube video about it and yeah. it fucked with my mind. YouTube, man. Yep. How crazy is YouTube? Even you look at the fucking timeline of YouTube and just the shit that's available to right. us now. Do you remember when YouTube was ad free and it was just like yeah. it just worked and it was just direct, nothing yep. but content? Yep. It's crazy. We're on YouTube right now. We are. <laughs> All right, here's my last one, man. So this has always been a great quote that stuck with me and I thought about it the other day, honestly. Um, I don't know the exact quote, but it's a it's a fear quote from the movie After Earth with Will Smith and his son. Um, it pretty much explains like what. Well, first off, what are your takes on like what's your biggest fear? That's what I want to know. My biggest I'm, fear in life. In life, yep. Like, or you know, what's your biggest fear? Like flying, death. Like those are. Con- I mean, my biggest heights. fear. My biggest fear is probably regret, right? Just like getting old and looking back and being like, "Man, why did I waste my whole fucking life? Or mm-hmm. why did I spend this many years doing this? Or why did I do the? Why didn't I do this?" But I think that's everybody, right? So I'm gonna think of something more tangible and personal to me. I hate heights, bro. Yeah, that's a, that's like a great heights. one. That's honestly, that's like the perf perf. Mo- I haven't really been into fucking roller coasters since i was a kid like i finally got into them once i got a little bit older like Mm -hmm. you know when i was a little kid i didn't like them i didn't like them until i was like 13 14 right and then i kind of started to like them but i still didn't like the ones that could fucking hang upside down from high ass spots you know what i mean i just always thought like what if that shit breaks right you know what i mean well the uh the internet's down so it's not working so i'm gonna look it up on my phone sorry we are having some technical difficulties. Wouldn't be real without some 
Some technical yep. difficulties. So, the fear quote from After Earth. Let's see what it's it another says. Another Will here. Smith banger. Yep. What did a- you see? Did you see William Smith? commented on our last yeah. pre-game video where we're bumping Will Smith. It yep. says Will Smith approved. Yep. All right, so, dude, check this out. This is real. It says, the only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future, right? Fear is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at the present time or may ever not ever exist. I'm totally butchering this. This is near insanity, right? So if you're if you're thinking about it for like from yeah. that perspective, right? I'll finish the quote. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real. Danger is very real, but fear is not. Fear is a choice, right? Like fear, fear of the unknown is a well, choice. Fear, fear fear of getting run over that, by the that's car. That's danger, though. Yeah, but shouldn't that's you danger. be fearful of danger? Fear is something that is made up in the mind. Danger is like when you're in immediate da- like if you're gonna get hit by a car, that's danger. That's not you. You could fear getting hit by a car, right? Yeah. But it can, it may never happen. So therefore, it's like a form of insanity because you're you're worrying about something that's never gonna happen. Okay. I definitely see your point. Do you see where I'm coming from? But if you're afraid of flying and the whole time you're on the plane and you're afraid it's gonna crash and it never does, that's been me. I hated, you know I hated flying Me for too. the longest time. Me too. I've finally gotten used to it and comfortable right. with it, but I hated it for the Me longest too. time. Me too, but like fear, just fear itself is not real. It's manifested, you know? It's definitely like, a construct of just your psyche right. and your mind. I think, here's what I think. I think fear has been essential to get us to this point. I think fear is the only thing that protects us from danger. But I also think that in today's society, we are there so few things. We are in so little real danger. Right. We are never in danger. But we fe- most but of the people time. fear everything. Yes. Because it's like on the news, it's like murder and this and that and like. But I wonder if that's programmed into us. I wonder if we had to have fear at one point to stay safe from fucking saber tooth tigers and fucking whatever other shit we were running from at the yeah. time. And maybe if that's just gonna take. A couple more hundred or a couple right. thousand more years. I mean, to here's get- the best example. If you're walking down a trail, right, and you're in fear that you're gonna see a tiger, that's not good. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're not living your life. Yeah. You shouldn't fear the tiger until you see it. And at that point, once you see the tiger, it's not fear anymore. It's danger. So you can literally cut fear out of your life. You know what I'm saying? If you think but about was- it as like fear versus danger you know like i think it's just the important thing is to be fearful of of logical things like of of immediate fear be fearful of things that may present immediate danger if it doesn't present immediate danger you shouldn't be fearful of it but if you're just never fearful if you if you go on a hike in somewhere that you've never been in africa and somebody goes hey three people got eaten by a tiger on this thing last week and you go I don't let fear play a part in no. my life. And you just say, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to be looking up at the trees. I'm not worried about yeah. no fucking tigers. No. Or you can be like, all right, I'm going to keep an eye out for the tiger. That's I'm going to try to enjoy myself. But That's just preparedness, though. Like, if You should probably bring a gun. You're dumb if you're like, oh, no, I'm good. I'll just go without a gun. You know, I don't fear the tiger. I get what you're saying. Like, But that's more of just being prepared. Like Logic. My, it comes down to logic It's logic. Again. It's like, okay, three people died from this fucking tiger. I'm going to bring a strap, you know, like law, just use logic, yeah. which will lead to preparedness. But don't fear every fucking thing, man. Cause life goes by like fucking yeah. that, you know? And like, if you fear everything, if you fear flying, you're never going to go anywhere. Like, I think the biggest one that's probably the most relatable to the most people out there is fearing what others will do say or think of judgment. you if you judgment, act yeah. like your real self or if mm-hmm. you express your real thoughts or feelings or interests right i think you see a lot of people out there today they trying to shit. fit into the box that they think everybody else thinks they should walk and talk and think and act like right and i just don't think that's yep the way to being truly happy and obviously i'm not i do not have the key to happiness in any way nobody I, it's does different for every person that's the i mean dude another great will smith movie the pursuit of happiness <laughs> fucking badass we never really truly find it but will smith is getting so much love on this podcast he is man 
I mean, he says it best right here, though, at the end, man. Like, fear is near insanity. Do not misunderstand. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. Fear is a choice at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You can choose to fear the right things, like you're saying, you know, but to me that's like pre preparedness more than, and logic more than fear. But fear is a choice, you know. You got to choose to lo not live your life in fear, to me. I think in today's society, especially, you know, as men, like, what do we really have to fear? That a bigger dude's going to come along and beat you up? That's, like, the worst thing that's going to happen, right? Right. As women in certain circumstances, I yeah. understand being fearful of certain things. But I get the point of what you're trying to say is, like, don't let illogical fears hold you back from doing the shit that you would nor otherwise want to do. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's hard for people, you know it what is. I mean? It's, it it's another one of those things, like I'm saying, bro, like we all got shit we got to work on. We all got our shit, man. And that's like a, 100%. That's a, another thing that I'm happy we're doing this because it's like we're putting it on wax, dude. Like right. if, if I say that like I'm this way and I need to work on this and I need yeah. to change this or we, we need to grow in this way, that's real. I'm like holding myself accountable, you know what I'm saying, yeah. by, by putting it out there like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think if more people were like – introspective and thought about how like they really feel how they view themselves how right. happy they are with what they're doing mm -hmm. instead of looking outwardly right i think more people would just be more themselves. fulfilled in yeah. general yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah for sure i don't know man that was a good one i think that's a, a nice positive one to leave people on you like that one after some of these crazy mind fucks <laughs> and some of the yeah. reality that is a lot of the negativity in the world yeah. right now that this one that one was more uh direct you know it's just kind of like i'm fearful of a lot of stuff too and i, I just wanted to end it on that was going to be the the hook line and sinker for the day is just to try to eliminate fear from it's your another life. good thing to remind yourself you know what i mean just yeah. writing these things saying these things talking about these things i'm gonna hear this back in my head 17 times when i fucking edit it yeah like it subconsciously those things it's gonna elim it's eliminate good to tell yourself those things and reinforce those yeah. ideas you know eliminate some fears in your life yeah. i i'm working on it currently too you know so yeah all right, man, I got to catch this flight. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Uh, ladies, and ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen thank you for listening to another episode of The Real Ones Podcast. Podcast. I'm Danny, I'm Danny Flavors. Flavors. I'm Shane O'Mac. We'll catch we'll you next, catch time. next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. 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 Peace.